Hello, this is Bino. Welcome back to my channel. Last week we did a video on twig anatomy. So what I wanted to do is talk about um, leaves. I want to talk about leaf shape and type. Let's get to it. When you're identifying a tree, it's important to understand leaf type and shape. A tree has only one type of leaf. You know, if you want to uh, identify a tree, usually that um, genus is specific. They have leaves and they're all the same size and shape. So what I wanted to talk about is a simple leaf. So um, on here, this is how you uh, find a, a leaf. So you'll look where the buds are, where they start, and that's where you're going to find a leaf. So I'll come to this one here. So a simple leaf, it has a leaf tip, it has a margin, that's this area here, and then you have a petiole. And like, the, like I said, the petiole begins where there's a bud. Now normally, there's a swollen area here. Remember the abscission zone? That's where the leaf begins. So from the petiole, this area is considered midrib, and these are the veins. So this right here is a simple leaf. And you could, you know, go up the whole tree and you could see where the leaf begins. This one happens to be an elliptic shape. So um, I'm not really going to talk about what types of trees we're looking at today. I'm mostly going to just talk about the, the leaf shapes. So on this right here, what we have is we have a rounded leaf shape. And you'll find it by going to where the buds are, you know, and you'll see that that's the simple leaf structure and it is a rounded leaf. And the same with the other, you know, you have the margin, the petiole, the swell, you got the midrib in this area, and here are the veins. And, well, there's no tip, but this is where the leaf tip would be. This is an example of a rounded leaf shape. So right here, we have a simple leaf, and it's a heart-shaped leaf. So you'll go back to where the petiole begins. So this used to be a bud, and you could see the swell. So this is the leaf. Here's the petiole. You have the midrib. You have the veins, you've got the leaf margin, and the tip. And then this is a heart-shaped leaf. So here we have a simple leaf, and this leaf shape is a lance-shaped leaf. And if you saw our last video, we talked about phyllotaxy phy and leaf arrangement on a twig, and that's what this is. It's all a world arrangement. Anyhow, to see that it's a simple leaf, you'll go to the bud, you'll see the petiole here, and then here's the margin, you got the midrib, and then the veins inside, and then here's the tip. This is a lance shape, some people may call it lanceolate. What I wanted to talk about next is compound leaf structures. So the first one I want to talk about is one called a pinnate. Um, they also call it once pinnate. So this is how you'll find a pinnate leaf. And remember, it's a compound leaf. So you go to where the petiole is, and you're going to follow that up to where the bud is. And where this swell is, this is where the leaf begins. So this is the petiole. Now if you're going down the leaf, these little pieces right here, they're not actually leaves, they're leaflets. And where it connects, these little pieces right here are called petiole lulls. When you go further down, this right here is called a rachis. Now, that's part of the structure of a compound leaf. You have the petiole, leaflets, petiole lulls, rachis. So this whole piece makes one leaf. You'll still have the same thing. You got leaf margins here, and then you got uh, a petiole lull. You got a midrib, and you got veins, and also a tip. But this is not the leaf. If you go back and you pop this off, oops, kind of popped it off kind of crummy, this would be considered one pinnate leaf. So I'll get you another leaf here. This is also another pinnate leaf from another tree. So you can see on this one where the swell was, now you have the leaflets, you've got the petiole lulls, the rachis, this is considered one whole leaf. Not these little pieces. And on this one, 
This is one whole leaf. This is a pinnate or once pinnate leaf, both of them. Now what I wanted to talk about was a bipinnate leaf. So the other one we talked about was a pinnate. So in a bipinnate, they also call it um, twice pinnate or um, you know bipinnate. So the way you would find that is you'll go down the leaf, you'll find the petiole, you'll see where the bud is. This is a swell. So I'm gonna switch over to this one, you can maybe see it better. So this is the petiole. Then you go up further, these little pieces here are leaflets. On the pinnate one, it was just a full leaf. But this leaflet looks like a, you know, like a pinnate leaf. At this point right here is a petiole lull. Then you got the rachis. So this is the leaflet. You go further down, this is the entire leaf. So to find the leaf, you would pop it off at the bud swell. Now this is a bipinnate leaf, or twice pinnate, this whole entire leaf. So what we have here is a compound palmate leaf. So you're gonna know that it's a compound palmate by following the petiole to where it swells. You really don't see a bud. On this one, you could see the bud. On this one, it's really not pronounced, but you could see how the leaf swells so this is the beginning of the petiole. So you follow that up and then you have these leaflets. So the same thing, petiole lulls and then the leaflet. Looks like a simple leaf. But if you follow this here, they're not really swollen, they're straightly attached. You'll see the difference here, how it swells. And there's that abscission zone. So this right here, the way it's shaped, is a compound palmate leaf. Here you got an example of a fan-shaped leaf. So to find the, the leaf, you go to where the bud is, and right there where the incision zone is. This is the petiole, and here's the leaf. It's a little bit different. You, you don't really see the, the midrib, it's parallel veined. Anyhow, this is the entire fan-shaped leaf. It's a simple leaf. Here we have a simple leaf that's a palmate leaf. Well, these, this one's really pronounced. So if you go to the stem, you could see the swell here. I'll go to this one, it's, it's actually bigger. So here's this petiole where it begins. That's the big swell section. Then you got the petiole, and then here starts the leaf. This is a lobed leaf. It's also a simple palmate leaf. So where you start here and then they all kind of fan out like a hand. This is a simple palmate leaf. So you take this off and that is a simple palmate leaf. Lobed are these sections here, almost like fingers of a hand. Unlike the compound palmate, it's kind of shaped in the same way, but it has those leaflets. That has the petioles and it has those little leaflets. So that was a video on leaf shape and type. It's really important to understand leaves. They really identify what a tree is. So I'd say like you have a tree in a certain genus, there that one certain genus will all of them will have that one same leaf. And important to understand those. Um, they're a very good way to identify trees. Well, I hope you guys liked that video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like what we do. And by all means, share our videos with friends. Take care. We'll see you next time.